harm's way, so you get to, you get to survive longer and, uh, and potentially dish up more damage. I guess it's just for you more. I, I don't know, I guess that's, uh, that's, that's where I want to be. Yeah, who will win World War II? So, obviously the first one was won by this video. So, I, uh, you know, I'm, a, I'm a firm believer that, uh, that it's one, for, one player wins uh, the first edition of the tournament and they can be a favorite for the second. One of my candidates, although I, I'd say I have like you know, more than I can potentially be winning the winning the tournament. Um, I would put this Viper up there and the as well as my candidates. Um, I think I have my chances um, and I will obviously do my best, but uh, those three are the, the ones that Who would I want to play against? Who would I want to avoid? Honestly, I'm, I'm with the mindset that I don't care who I play and when. If you want to win a tournament, you beat everyone, so just bring on whoever and I'll do my best. self-fulfilling prophecy as well, right? We did see the top four of Red Bull World War 1 so that they can't face each other again earlier. But everyone won against top tier opponents, so they really showed that they belong into the top four. Uh, yo against Terra. I think I will go for a wild expected out of basically yeah, either player. If we look at that, as always, we start off with Arabia, and then we have Mr. Yo opening with Golden Swarm. That's a nice surprise to me, and he is going for Cross, but Hera is going for Wings, a map where we could potentially see Incas from Mr. Yo. Then he goes for Bridget Lake. Yes, he did win that against Tello, but yesterday it was Tello. <laughs> neither, play dock, neither player docked up frigid legs, so you have to wonder, like, does he have another strategy up his sleeve for it? Was he secretly pleased that Tato picked frigid legs yesterday? Yeah, maybe he was, right? No, 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 he, he can't be, right? Because he's, he's, after the interview, he said, yeah, he expected Tato to pick it, but he did never play the map before. So it's not unlikely that he played the map. So why is it your own map now? What changed? What changed in one day that it made a home map against the, the previous winner of the first edition of the tournament? Well, maybe the game yesterday changed his mind and felt like, okay, the friends of the Waterloo in the center there, and I'm interested to see what did they go for and what kind of civilizations, especially. Something for wings on the other side. 
website error, you didn't get one of the bad visualizations. That's a bad section. Assets do not make it to the top 14 sieves. And something interesting is this tints against Koreans, pick 7 against pick 7, potentially for Golden Spawn. Is this the first time we've seen Koreans in the sieve draft? Or maybe we saw them once before, but they certainly haven't been played yet in the tournament. I find it interesting that he went to ban the Mayans instead of the Saracens. We've seen the Saracens get banned a lot in this tournament so far when someone drafts them and we saw the performance from Viper on Frigid Lake with the Saracens with that insanely fast castle in the Cow Archers. Maybe a similar strategy to this video. Mr. Yo is a different player, right? He loves his Mayans, he's so strong with them. The sand is his favorite set of the place. So just emotionally taking them away from him is already a problem. You think it was uh, intended as an emotional victory here for her? Like, like ah, you, you really want to play main? You, you want to, you want to, don't you? And then, then you slowly pull it away from them. <laughs> okay then. And obviously Mr. Yo going with the ban on Vikings. I, I, have we seen Vikings?